In the introduction, we discussed like using AngularJS, we can create this special kind of web application called SPA, that is single paged application. And now it is a time that we can make the creation of such applications here. All right. So here we will use the views which will help, help us out to create the single page application. And that is what the agenda of this video. So here, let's see what a view is all about. So as we saw in the model view controller, that view is anything which a user sees that simply an HTML page. So it is responsible for displaying the data to the user. All right. It is a it will show the data in any particular format all right and it will be triggered by the controller like which particular view should be sent on a page all right so that the appropriate data would be coming from the model and it will be rendered by the view and the complete action would be managed by the controller and here we can use the partial views as well obviously this partial views will be helping us in creating the single paged application all right so what this single page application is all about as we saw that it will be a single page but the different views would be rendered in the same all right so it's a web application that fits in a single web page provides a fluid user experience similar to the desktop application this is what the uh, reason why the angular.js is created all right this is one of the very major reason to create that fluid layout all right so whenever a data will be loaded means any view would be loaded it will not show the reloading of the particular page means the browser would be the page would be like that only and the particular partial view would be loaded on a particular segment all right so let's see what all angular js is providing us in order to create the single page application all right so obviously as we know that it supports the single page application through the multiple views on the same page that is the multiple partial views on the same page all right so here we'll have to download another uh, script file from the official website of angular js that is angular route.js all right so you can take it from there all right and once you have that it will provide you the ng view and ng template directive using which you can set any template page should be loaded on a particular uh, page in a particular layout page all right and ng view directive will help us out in rendering the partial views in our main layout page all right and along with that for creating the routing configuration we have a service here called route provider all right so let's see how we can use the ng view in order to settle the uh, partial view on a page right so you can see it is a simple web page on, on which first of all I have used the angular.js our root directory uh, root script file the route which we just downloaded from the uh, angular.js official website and the route.js that could be the uh, customized means what we have created all right means all the routing configuration would be done in this particular file you can give any name to this now inside this you can see like we have added the ng view in the div this is the area where your partial views would be rendered all right so you must have such things in here all right and these are the links clicking on which the difference different views would be loaded in this particular page all right so let's have a look how the configurations can be done so you see like this configuration is done by the route provider right here all right so here uh, when slash means this is the default page for me all right so when it is a template url all right this template url is what the partial page which we want to load all right and for this particular page we have designed a controller called main controller which is right here after it all right once we are done with the uh, configuration of routing you can define the specific controller for each and every page all right so you can simply say when when and you can pass the particular uh, name of the view which you want to reuse all right so on this particular request main.html or contacts.html or any particular view would be loaded in order to put a default like if something is requested apart from these so in that particular case we have used the otherwise all right so if something other apart from the slash or contacts would be requested it will redirect you to the slash that means you would be getting the main.html in that case as well means this is the default 
layout for default partial view for us all right so now let's see how practically we can do the implementation all right so now we'll start creating our first single page application so in the beginning what we have done let's go through the structure first inside the templates folder I have taken two file one is my main.html which I'm going to treat as my default view and contacts.html both of these templates would be loaded in the same index.html means index.html is going to be my single page on which the different views sometime its main sometime its contacts would be loaded and uh, to give a support I have also taken the angular route JS file all right you can find it from the angular JS uh, official website itself along with that I will use my core angular .js file along with our very own script .js which we just created we'll discuss about that all right so let's start here so as you see like every program I have taken a module named main app here in this main app after that I have also taken a dependency as so far we used to keep this as a blank but now since we are using the routing thing here ng route so we'll take it as the dependency and here we have already included the script file which would support us now we'll do some configuration with uh, before getting started with the controller so far we just uh, went through the controller but now it's something else called config function which will actually configure the routing in our angular application so there is something called route provider which service we are going to use right here all right so in the function we are using the service called route provider which will give the function like when and otherwise which we are using here all right so route provider dot when when there is a slash means I kept it slash for the default thing all right so when we are not requesting for any particular thing which we will be using using temp URL we redirect we actually give the path for templates slash main dot HTML right this one and uh, when you will mark it like slash contacts we will make you redirect to the templates contacts dot HTML all right and both of these pages have, are using a controller main controller and contacts controller which we just defined right here all right so in case of main controller I gave a message like hello welcome to tutorials point and in the contacts one contacts controller you can contact us at talk contact at tutorials point dot com so these are the two messages which we have uh, passed to these web pages now let's come to our main page that is the index dot HTML in this page we have first of all taken the reference of our main app that is nothing but our this module name after that home contacts two links hash home hash contact us contacts all right so as you see here we have uh, already mentioned already planned about the home and contacts I haven't specified home but yes if you want you can since it is my default page I haven't passed anything if in case some other request has been made we will redirect to slash slash is what slash is your main controller right so if you will pass anything apart from that even though you will be redirected to the main dot HTML all right so here uh, just in the beginning I have taken two links one is for home one is for contact us and right after that I have taken a div with the very main thing that is ng view ng view will actually be act like a playground for the uh, incoming views all right means whatever views you are redirecting using this script file uh, using this route provider they will be rendered right here in this div ng view so whenever you are working with the routing thing you must have ng view uh, directive somewhere in your page where you can actually render the incoming views 
template views all right so let's see how the output is looking like so as i executed as you can see index.html slash so by default this is the home right hello welcome to tutorials point the message which we passed all right here in the contacts as soon as we will do we have already passed this message in the controller you can contact us at contact at tutorials point dot com all right so you can see slash contacts all right so home contacts both are working in this way so the using the controller we have passed the messages and these messages has been read also inside these uh, page like here you can see h2 message nothing else and in contacts contacts and then message all right so this message property is being read in each and every view all right so this is how you can start working with the single page applications using angular js